This is Sports Matters with Jerry Collin. Jerry Collin. It's so retro. We cover all the biggest sports on the planet. MMA, boxing, snooker, football, darts. You name it and we cover it. We cover it. Okay, so welcome to Sports Matters with me, Jerry Collin. I'm joined simply by one of the snooper stars of Ireland and, of course, a big name in Cork, Mr. Greg Casey. Greg, how's things with you? Uh, good, I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me in. Good stuff. You're just back from Germany, um, the Paul Hunter Classic, big huge tournament uh, known to all snooper fans. Uh, how did it go for you? I know you had a first round exit, but experience wise. Yeah. Um, well, I was a bit unlucky that I got sick the night before, but that's no excuse. You have to battle through those things because yeah. I'm sure I wasn't the only one who had issues. But just experience wise to see, you know, the top players, like there was a couple missing obviously like so Ronnie and Trump weren't there and I was kinda of hoping to see them but yeah. the likes of Ali Carter, Mark Selby, you know, things like this, just to be around them is kinda of, just you kinda of feel a bit more like I should be here and <laughs> that I want to be here and you just don't know what to think. Of course. And you you played a long time. Like I remember being on the crucible as a young lad and you'll always see you you barely even reach the table back then. <laughs> well like Jim and the Crucible obviously done a fantastic job. He's got a great club down there. That's where we first seen you play. Uh, what's it like, first of all? How did you get involved in the snooker? Is it just one of the lads kind of like, oh, we'll go in here and try it out? Or did yeah, you have a love for it? Uh, well, I live really close to the snooker hall, so it's kind of, it was something to do, and it was just to pass a couple of hours at the start. And obviously, when you start kind of thinking you're getting a bit better, and obviously, I loved the game from the start, so it was kind yeah. of easier to, to keep playing. Yeah. And then when you start playing competitions, you just kind of go, geez, so, like obviously everybody with their sports, you'll be just kind of, geez, I want to play this and I want to see how far I can go with it and hopefully I can just get that little breakthrough that's needed now. And, but when you're younger, it's, it's kind of a hobby, whereas now like, you're trying to achieve something now compared to then. Like, so. I say even though it's not, about, like, it's not about money and stuff, you just want to play them big tournaments and then go step by step. So obviously it starts off qualifying for the big tournaments, Get that good ranking, win them tournaments, and then obviously the prize money comes and yeah, you make a living off it. Is, if you're doing well, obviously the prize money is a good part, but you kind of need you need some sort of back. And then I got a sponsor luckily last year. Yeah. It's uh, local, he's from uh, Ali Hill, super value, obviously. Yeah. Tomas is very good to me. So it's, it's a big help on restrictions of where you can travel and where you need to travel. So, uh, like I've been the last two years, I've been to probably. 10, 12 different countries. Yeah, I've seen that. that and well, I was on Facebook yeah, with yeah, the you know, results. Like, yeah, and I was actually, when I was away in Germany, I lost my phone and I was like, <laughs> I've seen that. So yeah. I put up, like, um, I, obviously, I just put up for people, my friends and stuff, so when I played, and yeah. then I was like, they all think know that I lost and I just don't want to put up anymore because I had no phone to post up. So it happened, that was the story, but it was good, just, good it's bad. Really. Like, just the, the travel is amazing, just, you know, I feel lucky to even. Be doing it, but I want to push myself obviously to try get to the top of the game if I can, obviously. Yeah. So um, you're still a baba, like. Uh, you're one of these fellas that I remember from school, and I remember like just seeing you around the snooker halls and stuff. <laughs> and, like this fella never ages, like he's, he's still that <laughs> young lad, like you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm like, pushing on, but you still. Yeah, still. I see, but I'm not getting any taller, so I probably look <laughs> the same. Like, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of hard just to, I, you know. Like you're you're trying so hard to get there and you're trying not to worry about things and of course you have to enjoy it. So as I said, like you know, even just being in like our hotel, Mark Selby is staying in our hotel, so he's like sitting across from us and we're just kinda like I was like I was saying to the lads, like, I, I was like, I, I want to get a picture and the lads like, you're playing in the same tournament as me, you're going to be like, you know, asking for pictures or anything, you have to remember you're you remember against them, yeah, it's just so. kinda things like that are kinda weird, but when you think about it, you'll just be, you know, I'd be like, geez, I'm actually in the same tournament as Mark Selby, so it's always confidence booster for you as well, because confidence is a massive part of every sport, so of course. it's brilliant. All the young lads playing this, like, these days, because I've always, I've, I've played for, you remember me, like, yeah. I never got good, I could always get a break at 30 or maybe yeah. the odd, the once or twice 40, but how many hours practice, like, in a day, what's the most you put in practice wise? I did most. Well, some days you like when I, I as you said, when I was that age, like I used to practice probably maybe six, seven hours. A day. No, I kind of no, I wouldn't play as as in I do four or five hours, but it would be kind of set routines, as yeah. in you know, 
stuff of like with the red zone yeah like yeah, whereas yeah. when you're younger you're just playing and playing because you're just trying everything new but now you're kind of trying to put yourself in situations whereas if you're losing a frame how you can turn it around or if you're behind what you can do you know to, to change the way that he's playing well or yeah. stuff like this a lot of psychology and stuff just to like keep your head and not give anything so easily away you know which a lot of a lot of a lot of younger players do it even like I would have done it myself as in you know when you're playing the big lads you kinda you don't you don't like appreciate the lead that you have and you give it away easily. Yeah. Whereas now it'd be really clever compared to the younger lads like of my generation. Like you know, you know just to make them work for what they're getting like so it's it's very helpful just. And you played Sheffield. Ah. Dream come true, like so Yeah. The draw comes out. And you get run against Ting Tong Wee. Like, I, I like, when I think of it, like, you know, it, it's, if I was going to, you know, go on the first or second round of a tournament, I'd like to go against the best. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, tough draw, because we know a lot of players on that list you would have beat. Yeah. Hands down. I was asked a question about if I qualified for the, the main draw, the 16, obviously you got to play the top 16, and I was asked who I'd like to play it. And the first answer that I said was Ronnie. And yeah. the guys were like, for sure, realistically, if you play Ronnie, you're not going to win. And I was like, well, if you're being realistic about it, you're probably not going to beat any of them. Yeah. But I said, what better experience are you going to get than playing Ronnie O'Sullivan? It's a guaranteed full house. Of course. It's guaranteed the best atmosphere you're going to play in. So then for our draw, like Ding Jung Wee was like the Ronnie O'Sullivan. He was he number was. one in our draw. It was the toughest draw you've So got. it was like, when people asked me about Ding, I was like, I, ne I said I didn't want to get him, character or somebody else because I, I said I, I feel like I have a chance to actually beat a couple of players. Well, you looked at the draw you did. So yeah. I was like, yeah, I was like, and then when it came out, obviously, for the first two minutes when the draw is done, it's like, great, yeah, dig I was like, <laughs> and I just started thinking, you know what, it's, this is going to be great because yeah. no pressure, no expectation against him, obviously, on myself. So I was relaxed from the start and he was the same. and. I actually really enjoy playing him, and I, I, when I watched it back, I played well enough, and I, I held myself well yeah. enough too, so I was like, I was happy, obviously losing, you're never happy, but, like I was saying, this guy could actually win the tournament, so... And he almost did. It's not, you know, it's not that much of a, of a, a loss, yeah. you know, in that sense, but it's a stepping stone for me anyway, just to, just to share a table with someone like him is just, just, it is a dream come true, like, realistically, so... I was delighted it coming over there. Like I couldn't. A great experience for the next for the for the next one. Yeah, it's, it's it just gives you so much confidence and belief. Like as I said, it's a, it's a real confidence game because you see it even when I was away. I know Germany just a couple of weeks just last week. Yeah. Like you see a lot of players who you're expecting to be brilliant and they are brilliant players, but just confidence isn't there at the moment. And you see how much you, it matters. Like to to even the, the bigger players and the so-called best players or the top boys. Like. Yeah. The confidence really matters, so you have to you have to approach no matter who you're playing. You have to believe you can win, and that's that's what I say going to play him. So I was like, I have to believe I can win, or else I won't win. So you've done well, you've done fairly well. Yeah, you were just, lucky not to win one or just, two more just, friends. Well, I kind of I could have won one one more for sure. It's just pure adrenaline, like excitement, yeah. because you know he's missed on an attack, and I'm like 40, 50 points behind. And I'm clearing up. It's like the dream situation, <laughs> and then it's just like adrenaline, just absolutely <laughs> flew. Like, oh. I was like, oh. and I just kind of, and I, I lost that friend then. But I was like, oh. and even even when I was thinking back, I was like, look, I was like, you can, you know, you can do it now. So yeah. just try to relax, and I, I was calm enough because I was just laughing because the other Irish lads that were there with me, they were saying like how funny it was because we were sitting in the seats. And as we're sitting, it's almost like this. But they said, like, he's looking at the table, and I'm just looking at him, just going, just smiling. I was like, I didn't even know all this. They were like, you just kept staring at him. Yeah. I'd say, just like anyone else. Yeah, yeah, like, it's just. Yeah. That's just, a court thing, that's a normal yeah, thing. That's, that's, that's a normal thing, yeah. So we don't back down, like. Yeah, <laughs> give him the stare. Yeah. And you've played against a lot of snooker players in the past. Uh, like, you know, you get a lot of guys that will come to Cork. Uh, what, what are the names? Like, did you play Ronnie I in the comments? Yeah, Ronnie in the comments. Yeah, yeah, remember that? That was a long, um, long time ago. Long time. I've played. I've played a few. Of them. I played Sean Murphy on TV as well before. I remember not, that. Not, team, not very memorable. I think me, Tony Moore played. Yeah, Ken it was a yeah. World Series of Snooker. Yeah, and Tony well, he almost was really good. Yeah. yeah, he yeah. was like Sean Murphy was really good. Like he, he kind of. He. Just, I remember he asked me. He was like, um, I asked him first. I was like, how, how much do you play now? And 
he was like eight hours a day and I was like Jesus oh. yeah, yeah. and then he was like ah, but sure it's my job like and I was kind of realizing then that's that's true like yeah. it is a job so but I've played I played Mark Allen before and um you know it's like number one in Ireland plays number one in Northern Ireland yeah. for the overall yeah. um I played Judge in a European under 19s that would tell you how long ago that was yeah. um, game against Judd? yeah he beat me at three one just we were like we were the two kids in the tournament. I yeah. was really young. I was like uh, maybe fourteen. I say he's maybe fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, yeah. But like it was, you know, he he was actually being tipped to be big at that even at that sure. stage. Like yeah, yeah. there was guys telling us they were like, look, he's going to be good. So I just and proved proved to be like, look at him now. He's a, he's a superstar. So yeah. you get to play all the like the Ken Dart. He's obviously there. Like our hero he's world champion. The Steve Davis. You know the yeah. the legends of the game really and um. That's it. When you get a chance to play those guys, you just you try, you try to perform. Of course, you know there's not many people put it up to them, so they're just happy to happy as I said to share a table with those kind of guys. You know, yeah. really are legends of it. So just delighted to even play any of them, to be honest. Definitely, but those sponsorships a big part of the the snooker game. Um, super value, of course. Uh, Mr. Singleton. Yeah. Uh, he's done a lot for you. So like. Sponsorship's essential. Is it hard to get sponsorship these days or is it just so much? Uh, it is, in a nutshell it is, but you need, I think you need a little bit of luck and yeah. the, right, the right guy because like, obviously my mum and my dad like sponsor me since I started. Of course, of course. So it's kind of, you know, a lot of people will say to me like, why didn't you go to England? Like, and why don't you know? I was like, yeah, but like, that's putting a lot of debt on my mum and dad, yeah. which is something that is, it'd be hard to kind of... They want to do it, you know, they will do it, but yeah. Like, they've kept me, they, they've paid, like, if I told them tomorrow that I was going to the other side of the world, they you know, no problem, they, they'll do it. Like, even if they had to, they might have to go around the bank to do yeah, it, but they will. They'll and do then it, yeah. just happened to, I came across Tomas, I was talking to him um, one night, and I just messaged him about it, and I was just saying, because he said, you know, because he used to play in the club where I play, and... Yeah. Just really nice guy, like he's, you know, he's re like you can get a sponsor and it might be okay, like they might, but he's really good to me, like you know, he really takes a lot of stress off the game, yeah. which has been shown the last year or two because I've been getting so many results and you know, so many invites to play in these big tournaments, and a lot of that is down to him as well because he, he gives me the freedom to, to do it, so. Yeah. It's very helpful and he knows I'm, I'm forever grateful to him, you know, course. and I always tell him. And we all know he sponsors you, yeah. so it, it's, it's, you know, we, like, I go up to Super Value in general yeah, just because I know he's looking after you and, like, football clubs like Vincent's yeah. and the Pershing. So it does help and, you know, like, people will say, look, he's good at looking after, so we'll go up and shop. Yeah, because right, 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 yeah. he, he is, he's a local, you know, as in, he knows, he knows how hard it is and he knows, you know, he knows what we're like and, yeah. so it's, he knows, like I always, I always tell him how thankful I am. I always, you know, I always message him, like when I'm going and when I'm playing. Yeah. You know, I always ask him to come along, and he's saying he will, but he's obviously busy. But I get him along one of the days, maybe. <laughs> yeah, he can watch, and he, like, you know, I want, I want him to see me playing. Obviously, course, see me doing course. well. So yeah. that's it's it's brilliant. Just I think you need a bit of luck. Yeah. Small bit of luck and a, you know, obviously a bit of hard work behind you. And yeah, you've got the hard work you're playing, yes, yeah. you're a baba. <laughs> and after that, it's like the best still to come. We know that for a fact. Hopefully, yeah. And for all the young fellas, and for me personally, what's the advice you can give? Uh, how do you perfect the game? Because I'm trying, Greg, for about yeah. 10 15 years and I can't do it. <laughs> I think I'm trying to stop with you. I don't think I can. Um, you've got to get perfected. Like you've, you've got the one four seven break, haven't you? Yeah, well, I have one in a match. And yeah. I have nineteen in practice. So yeah. I remember there was one in the crucible. Yeah. One, and I walked in about ten minutes later. <coughs> Jim and uh, Gemma said you got the break. And I'm yeah. just like, how long ago was that? About, about ten minutes ago. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> got it. Yeah. Got it. So it's you, you just. I think hard work, and you have to, as I said. You have to believe in what you're doing because like I do a little bit of coaching with some of the younger lads in my club just to help them out because they're they're nice kids and they you know they want to be good snooker players obviously so I hope they look up to me in that kind of way as in they want to follow my footsteps more yeah. or less. So I'm like, you know, I say to them, you have to work hard. You gotta you know the days that nobody's here to play yet, yeah, you gotta practice. Like and if if there's nobody to to hit back against you, you gotta just play yourself and you know keep the head down and if you work hard enough you get results like that's that's no doubt about it. That's in every sport, you know, and 
they're like, uh, like they know what I say to them, you have to be confident. It doesn't matter if you're playing me, if you're playing you, if you're playing Ding Jong Wee, you're like. Confidence I, is everything. Yeah, I always say, like what I say to the lads basically is the, the, like when, you know, because they're young, so obviously when they play, they, they kind of, you just say, if they were playing Jory and you were number one, like you say, oh, I'm playing Jory there, or like, and then I just kind of go, but like, what can Jory do when you're at the table? Yeah. Which is true, like when you think about it in a nutshell, it's, it's you're as true. You're putting pressure on yourself already. Yeah. You're playing the because, name. Like, if I was playing you and you keep popping balls, what can I do? I can yeah. just sit there. Yeah. So you try to drill it into him and give him confidence and belief and you have to, you've got to believe in yourself. You have to be confident. And who knows if you, you just need a result here and there and it could change everything. And that's what I, that, that's what I need, I think. I fit a couple of crossbars now for it. For a tour card, so yeah. I just know that it's going to come. The harder I work, the quicker it'll come. So that's I'm going to host it. It's going to come. Yeah. I know it's going to come because I'm watching all the results for years. Your whiskers away. Yeah, it's. I'm just as I said, you know, when something goes wrong, you got to go back and work on it, yeah. work hard on. I do that, so I have no doubt it will come for me because I do work hard enough, and that's that's not that's not a gloating thing. It's just as in a confidence thing. I do work hard, so. Yeah. I firmly believe that it will come for me will. once I push it and work hard and keep perfecting your mistakes and you'll have less mistakes. So that's yeah. that's it. And just before we go, because I'm a massive fan of the Crucible and uh, you know what Jim's done for years, Gemma, the whole family. Uh, what's that club mean to you? And for anyone that doesn't know what a Crucible is, do you want to give the the nori <laughs> directions to where you can yeah, find it? Uh, like it's Blarney Street, but it's Nicholas Well Lane. Obviously, it's it's where um, City View Week. Just the Glen Ryan is the best yeah, place Glen to Ryan, describe yeah. it because it's very close. That, but it's, 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 yeah, it's yeah, it's practically it's practically my second home. You know, yeah, like, yeah. I, like when I if I walked out of my house, it's kind of just a natural for me to go to the club, even if I didn't want to go. It's just because it's so close. And I'm so yeah. used to playing and. Nice warm weather like, to go to the yeah, door. it's cup of it's, tea. That's that's you know it's it's a second home for me. Like realistically, there's there's no other way to put it. Like I would be so grateful to that family. Yeah. For having the club and having me in the club. Yeah. And you know for everything that's there because, it's like if they went, I don't know where I play or what of I course, do. You know, and, like they're they're very good to us as in you know but even with our club we're doing well like with the younger lads now because yeah. we had a monster final and all Ireland final last year which yeah. we lost. We lost both to the same team, so it was kind of. But, but you've won some of the past. Yeah, round. we've we've won them, but yeah. well, we we need the All Ireland. That's the only one we're missing. Yeah. But yeah. it'd be nice to give back to the club, you know, because that's the only one that the club is missing. Yeah. And like I'm the oldest on our team, now, which is kind of weird. <laughs> Scary. You know what I mean? And I'm the oldest, but we have a really good team. Like we have four or five Irish internationals. So yeah. I think. I think this year will be our year, and I think this year will be my year as well for the snooker, you know, to, to get the tour card. Yeah. Just fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. That's all we can do, you know. So. Great, and as always, my Great. friend. Thanks Thank very, very much. much. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thanks Thank very much for that. Check out all the latest interviews with Jerry and the Stairs weekly on Sports Matters.